Hi everybody, it's Dan from Ink Gaming. Welcome back to RimWorld. This is Season 1, Episode 9 of our Escape from Prison Planet 314. This is uh, Beta 18 is the version that I'm playing, along with the mods that you can see um, in Episode 1. We return to our convicts. We were managing some mental health issues, as it were. Um, our new pyromaniac was having significant fits and starting fires. Um, other people were near breaking, but we managed to fight off another raid last episode, and we're sitting on some pretty good food situations, and we're trying to get basically some more of our building and some critical clothing done. So we're going to go ahead and start it up. And let the night pass. So I think that I had flagged an elephant that we had let out after we'd hunted it for a quick grab. So hopefully someone will deal with that in the morning. That'll be some extra meat that we need. Um, still very low on wood. Otherwise I would definitely build another chair. I'm going to get someone on crafting that shirt very early in the morning. And then we're going to hopefully allow everybody else to do everything else they need. So some hauling, um, some cooking, and probably finish out this mining. And then we can get to some stone cutting so that we can, you know, replace some of these wood walls, which will give us a little bit of wood back. Then we'll start thinking about maybe expanding the base, either the cooler or into more of this region over here to the right. So there goes Jim, off to grab the elephant. We like that. Speed, are we going? Oh, we're going double. Okay. Suki's off. Off to work, or in this case, eating a meal. It does bother me. Um, so Suki didn't have a meal, so Suki went to grab a meal, and at that point, whatever, decided that I'm not going to head over to the dining table, I'm just going to eat the meal. Um, oh, Suki's lighting up. It's probably good. Helps the mood, but uh, I'm going to show you. Smoke weed. It uh, gives a stone. It actually makes it so they move a little bit slower. They are weakened consciousness, and that sometimes causes them when they're doing construction and other things like that um, to uh, fail at a greater rate, which is unfortunate. We've got some minor break risks. E.g., I do appreciate you doing the stone. I really, really do, but I really also want you to prioritize doing this. Let someone else do the lugging. Let's get that shirt done. Suki, no, Rasta, who's wearing the pants? Oh, there the pants are. You know, what I may do is I just may force, uh, if you look at the pants. So, hmm. Interesting. I was thinking the offset would help the temperature range, and maybe that negative does. Um, as in, it expands the upper range. Um, I'm, I am unsure and unclear. Rost is doing some hauling, um, which is great. Um, Rost would probably be making the simple meals, except that jem has got the, uh, if you will, the uh, stove at work. EG's done with the shirt. I would hope, EG, that you would go do something that you enjoy at this point. But apparently not. And what I meant by enjoy was like a joy activity or something. You're urgently hungry. You know, I see what happened here. Again, hitting on Jem. Jem not liking you. Me prioritizing so that you... Wow. Sorry. Let me go do something nice. Good, good. Much better. Okay. 
Now, Rasta, are you really still wearing tribal gear? You are. At this point, if I told you, Rasta, to drop the tribal gear, what would you do? What would you wear? I'm curious. Yes, I know you're unhappy with your nudity, but there's there's clothing. You could wear the clothing. I'm, I'm not forcing you to be nude. Last I checked. Are you not interested in said shirt? Okay. You're just going to be a big pain. Why don't you go wear these pants? Thank you. Why don't you go wear that shirt? Okay. I just don't know what to say. That didn't actually seem very helpful. Well, maybe. I don't remember what your upper limit was. It is just pretty hot out. Wow, good job, Suki. And EG, you know, I'm going to let you guys all do what you're going to do. Yeah, but in addition, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and queue up four hats. Because it's hot. So, did I ever flag these for mining? It looks like I did, so that'll happen. Oh, that looks great. Okay. We're actually running out of room in the fridge. Okay. Let's see here. Are we ready tomorrow to embark upon taking down the wall? Mm, not a lot of it, but we could we could probably do some of it. So um, we will probably start that tomorrow. Maybe maybe do this section. Or even better, we could do sections up here. I think we got actually quite a bit more steel. Not a lot. Oh, why? Ooh, psychic soothe. Every colonist of the female gender smiles with contentment, which is great. We have three females, so this will really help. Hopefully, this will mean we will get a day or two from Rasta without um, the horrors of uh, some out. Alpacas. We get some wool from these alpacas if we tame them, but you know, the truth is very nice. We're not going to actually have Hermione follow us around for now, but we are going to train that hauling up. Um, wolves, we would get them, and I think they can be pack animals, although, um, you know, not nearly as good as something like uh, probably a buffalo or maybe an elephant. Um, but um, it is tempting. Um, we certainly probably have the food for it at this point. Um, I don't know whether we really want to spend the time doing it, but, uh, and, oh man, really? Really? You got to go train Hermione when, when, when near the, near the, hang out near the corpses? Okay. If you say so, who am I to argue with that, right? The choice is yours. Okay, good. Rost is going to actually make some of those other meals, which is fine. EG's going to finish this floor, and then EG. I really appreciate you doing that, but can you just go ahead and maybe get this tailoring done. We'd love some cowboy hats. We'd love a t-shirt. All that sounds great. An angry elephant. Okay, not really angry. You know, I'm also... I'm, I'm gonna start making at least maybe like two more of these. Let's get that going. Since we've got some extra steel on hand. Very excited about these cowboy hats. I'm really hoping they'll help offset the temperature just a wee bit. Not sure what other clothing we could actually do, honestly, that's going to help temperature. I mean, people get t-shirts, I suppose. 
but um, I don't think the dusters really um, help with heat. You can wear them over, and uh, I can certainly make, you know, one and see if people put it on, but um, this is almost like a RimWorld um, temperature simulator, but uh, I guess we'll just see. So good, Suki's done, I think, with Suki's mining over here, um, which is great. Um, Suki's starting to build these. And we'll set them to auto rearm. Or queue up the task automatically to rearm them. Jim's back at the uh, stove. So Rost is cleaning up. Which is important. Really tempted to go ahead and put the sterile floor in. I mean, they spend time in here. This is going to eventually be the hospital. Let's see what it's going to cost us. It is work. What will happen if I said this? Okay, let's do it. Let's get it done. That means really the whole building at this point is is reasonably nice as long as we keep it clean. Um, the battery room is ugly. I didn't put new floors down, but nobody goes in there most times, and there's a door in front so they can't see it. So. Um, I need to actually free EG up from this work because cargo pods. Let's take a look. What do we got? Hemmican. Okay, so an extra food source. Um, I am not going to go grab it. Uh, this pemmican lasts near forever. Um, it's not that far, but uh, we have so much food that it's not a priority. But I will flag it for allowing to be picked up. I think we actually allow pemmican over here. We do, which is great. So if they actually wanted to go pick it up, they can. At this point, I think I had restricted at some point the simple meals to um, meat only. I'm going to go how, go ahead and allow veggies as well, just because we have a lot of veggies. Early on, meat is the more reproducible. Um, the other thing is, I'm wondering whether we should just slow down on the food production. We could, like, for example, after the next crop of maybe rice. Um, I hate how that does that. Sometimes I wonder whether it's my mouse. So what I'll actually do is I will take this off of sowing and maybe we'll switch it over to, after the next harvest, we'll switch it over to maybe heel root for one time so we get up a little stockpile of heel root. Um, we could similarly do some extra cotton or some extra smoke weed, but we'll just take one rotation. So we got one rice, one potato, one corn. Um, those three plant rotations. Um, and we'll try that for a little while, um, see how that goes. So, for tomorrow, it looks like the floor is going to get worked on. Um, I'd love that extra. Look, three people have cowboy hats now. Woohoo! Um, take a look. So, see, there you go. Insulation heat. Almost, and, and I wonder whether this changes based on the quality of the item or the uh, material that it's used. This is only a poor one. But plus 4.7 degrees C. Which, as you can see, EG's range is now up to, A, it goes quite down. He's wearing some synth weave stuff, so obviously material does make a difference. But um, that range, I mean, it gets hotter than that, but it gets him closer, uh, which means he may be only hot versus, like, very hot or something like that. So I think it's really, really important that we get these folks these cowboy hats, and I should have prioritized it earlier environment. So we will actually have um, your suki or someone jump on that early. Uh, everybody should get their meals first of course. Good, the fridge is holding holding its temperature. Good, you guys are actually using the dining room. It's a fabulous thing. Very nice. 
Okay, everybody's gonna be hard at work. Did we auto rearm this one too? No, we did not. Good catch. I think once Suki gets done with these floors, Suki was doing mining if you recall. Busy with that. EG's gonna eat his meal. Rasta. Rasta's actually probably going to haul pemmican. Oh, cleaning. Silly, silly me. So this counts probably as the home zone too, so as these um, decompose, Rasta's like, ooh, I better go clean up over there. And it's probably not that important. Um, I should say, I know it's not that important. It's not important at all. Um, I could remove that from the home zone, um, but it doesn't happen that often, so I'll just kind of leave it for now. Ah, I like this. Looking to work hard, but let's get that other hat done. That's very nice. I love it when a little base comes together. Almost sounds like that line from the A-Team, doesn't it? For those of you that probably dates me, those of you who watch the A-Team, when Hannibal says, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, my my. So, Lumi from the Razors was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help. She would like to join your colony. She is a bounty hunter and her traits are abrasive and nervous. So after a quick convening of the, the three, not the four, the three who make the decisions here, you know, the truth is that uh, abrasive, not going to get along, going to have social fights, nervous, going to be breaking more often. Bounty hunter, well, that actually suggests some combat skills um, but we know so little else uh, this is a free acceptance as in you know boom they'd be in don't have to try and talk them into it nothing like that but uh, at this point we're, we're you, you, we already have a problem and we don't need any more problems so we're gonna reject her bye Lumi may your may your struggles wandering the face of this prison planet be long and hard an unfriendly okay this is getting to be silly oh okay so we have a group of visitors visiting they have a few items to trade so this will be interesting uh, we have a few items we picked up but honestly um, chances are these villagers will not be trading things like weapons or um, so we probably won't be able to get rid of the stupid club or shitty knife or that kind of stuff but we'll find out let's go jump over there I'm gonna go down to single speed real quick so we can take a look but not pause so it looks like four people um, they are gonna be hanging out and visiting us if I go check the guest stuff we will try and entertain them and honestly the faction goodwill is not high enough for me to look at trying to like steal someone away um, there are four and we only have two guest beds set up so we can either put some plots on the ground that are not How much would we need for two more guest beds i guess furniture single beds okay it's really going to bring us down to almost no wood but um i think i'm okay with that Just that way you know and when we go to double beds we'll we'll probably move these these so so beds that we're using into here and they'll become visitor beds so um, who is our best talker we got a six we got a six gem why don't we have gem go take a look at what they got to offer So, here's what they have. So they have, actually that's our cowboy hat. That's if we wanted to sell it. Um, but someone should be wearing that real soon. They have an alpaca wool t-shirt. We can sell the tribal wear, which we will now. That's actually pretty good value, considering we're completely out of silver. Um, we have the t-shirt. Um, I'm going to keep that just in case. If you recall, I made a button-down shirt and a t-shirt. 
If someone wants it, it's pretty crappy, but that's because our, uh, really our crafting skills are so low. It looks like we can st sell our shitty steel knife. Um, we can sell the slate club, which we will do. We don't have a whole lot of money, um, but we'll take whatever money we can get. Now, we can also sell some of our smoke leaf to take as much money as we can get. We can buy pemmican, but we don't need the food. And we could buy their two herbals. Um, we do have a crop going right now of herbals. Um, and I think we will, just so we have a couple herbals. We have the, the nicer medicine. And we can easily recover that and get all the rest of their money just with selling a few more smoke leaf joints. So, you know, not bad. It's our first sort of little trade trade. Um, we did interact with that other merchant briefly, but... Um, it would be great if we could sell some of our excess food. Unfortunately, they don't buy it, so tough luck for us. Still, good trade. Very nice. Eiji's going to make this bed. Well, I appreciate you want to go talk to him, EG. Can I actually have you finish this other bed? So that way, we can have four beds for him. And then you can talk to him all you want. I like how they're taking all of my chairs so Rasta had to eat on the floor. Thanks. Let's not make me... We should shiv him a couple times. Maybe, maybe... Oh, I was going to say club him, except we just sold him our club. Do something vicious to him. That's what I figure. It's only fair. Okay, Rasta, what are you up to? Okay, okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. I remember flagging those. Um, it's all good. Suki's going to grab the medication, put it away in the stockpile. Now, I believe the herbals actually do have a very slow decay rate. Um, roofing, of course, helps them, but they actually, yeah, see, in theory you want them refrigerated, but that's a long time, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. Um... Did we get done? Or is Jim hogging the, uh, Jim is hogging the stove. Which is fine. What are you up to, Suki? You're hauling too. And it's fairly late in the day. Do we want to take the chance of deconstructing a wall or not? Hmm. Well, as I let the time go on, obviously that means not. Uh, that Psychic Sooth is really helping us out. Um, you doing, Suki? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Maybe that will come in handy. So tempting. It's so tempting to start on the walls for the bigger fridge. And the reason why is it doesn't involve deconstructing an outside wall that's dangerous, but then we'd be sitting there waiting on stone for when we wanted to do the outside walls. So, we're going to go ahead and let EG, you know, relax socially. Yeah, we're just going to let folks do their thing. The only people... Jim, if Jim wasn't meditating, might be actually negotiating, but cooking is always a higher priority. I guess what we could do, since we have a second cook now, could increase this. There we go. Not to mention we have plenty of meals as well, so that's beautiful. And let's get speed going again. It was fun, we got to take a look at them, we got to do a little trading. Now let's just get back into the action, if you will. Get some work done. This is actually great. Yep, they're hauling rocks. Visitors are going to bed. Now, except for those, we had flagged those, if you recall, because it seemed like that would be a little bit closer, and also we wanted to prioritize some sandstone for sandstone, sandstone floors. 
So, for example, we could uh, start flooring some of this. That would be another task we could do, or at least the, the butchering area. Um, all of that's certainly possible. There goes the psychic shoes. That's unfortunate. But it did last long enough for us to get into cowboy hats. Woo, the cowboy squad. Um, and to that end, actually, I think I am going to queue up um, some sandstone floor over here. Um, they don't spend that much time um, over in the butcher area, but you definitely, certainly do want floors, so, yeah, and they'll be passing through, especially since this is probably the, that's the closest door to get in from the crop area, so let's go ahead and do this, go ahead and do this, we can go ahead and do this, and we can go ahead and do that, that'll be good. take up some sandstone. The other thing I want to do today is I really would like to get a segment of the wall done. So as soon as people start to wake up, part of the problem is I do have two people set to do a lot of talking, um, negotiating, entertaining, making them happy, um, the, the visitors, and so you know when I start setting up deconstruction and construction jobs, they're going to keep constantly going over, oh, but I want to go talk to X or Y. You know, I could change this with priorities. I'm a little lazy. I just need to, I mention it because I need to keep it in mind. Um, it's certainly not the end of the world. So let's just start with this wall. Let's, get, let's not get overly ambitious. And let's get that done. Nice, 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 nice. There we go. And then we can do limestone. And we can just say, hey, let's get the limestone done. We get a little bit of that wood back. Okay. I thought I was going to fix that. And then I forgot. So let's say this is no longer home area. Thanks. Rost is going to get some entertainment, play some horseshoes, EG's out talking to people. So with the hospitality mob mod, which is this whole entertainment deal and possibly recruiting them, an another thing is if, you, if they have a good enough time, they'll actually drop some of the stuff they brought when they leave. And so it's free stuff. Uh, lastly, um, one of the, I think, more recent changes is if you actually get them entertained enough um, and happy enough, they'll actually start helping out before they leave. So they might help you haul or harvest crops or um, do things like that. Um, they don't, I, I've even had them help research, actually. Um, I would hope that they don't do certain things that you want reserved only you but um i haven't run into any real issues where i was like oh no 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 don't do that um, so it's been pretty good so uh, if you see squid's actually hauling stuff around consolidating <laughs> the food in my fridge which is great same thing over here so they're helping us uh, love it oh look at that okay two things one the wall got on beautiful we also got a psychic Drone. Oh, the exact opposite of the psychic soothe. And unfortunately, every colonist of the female gender winces in pain. So now, while well, Randy gave us something nice until we got our cowboy hats, Randy has come back and, you know, brought the other hand of wrath upon us. So, such is life, right? Not a whole lot we can do about that, except uh, try and muddle through. So it is, it's 37, it's not bad with some of our, with good cowboy hats and things like that. That's what's outside right now. Inside in here, it's uh, much more a nice balmy 25, 26. It's hotter in the visitors, but I don't care. I could always put a mint here, but that's then more room for this. So um, it's not a priority for me. I'd rather keep these rooms, which are our colonist rooms, um, better off. Ross is gonna have a smoke. Relax a little bit. I bet you it's pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot down here. That would be another reason to expand this fridge. 
is once I have the fridge expanded, um, this other workspace um, where we're doing both stone and um, cooking meals will be probably a little bit cooler because it will be bordering the fridge. Um, we won't double insulate there. And so that will make just that a little bit more comfortable for him. Now it's still fairly early. It may be early enough that I can do another section of wall. So let's go ahead and see if we can manage that. Do that. We'll see if they chop chop get to work. We don't want to do the bedroom just in case. So we'll cue that up. See who gets to work, if anyone. Oh, they might help. Oh, I thought they were going to help out. And uh, we went back to single. Let's go to double. Suki's going to break down the wall. Okay. So, they had an absolute amazing time, basically. We got a score of 100. They said they'll visit again. They left us, oh, yay, a wooden shiv. <laughs> so, you know, but we improved relations with the tribe, which is important. Um, and, uh, yeah, all that's great. So, we'll get that done. Let's see if we can get this done before um, nightfall. He's running to go talk to that guy, but now he's hopefully good, good. Getting on these walls, which is important. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. Get these things done before night, so we are secure. Oh, okay, that's why Kasuki had that block. That's great. I know it's only a part of the wall, but, uh, you know, that's that's what we do in chunks, right? We could get that done. Maybe we can get this done. You know, it's just a little bit here, a little bit there. And that was while we had visitors. So, very, very nice. Look at that. Slowly getting Hermione up to a um, point where... Oh, we actually are starting to have people with nothing to do. But that was... Partially because I didn't want to... Huh. Marble blocks. E.G. Oh. Hey, guys. Guess what? Oh. Uh-huh. Yep. Look at that. So there are now no stone blocks in the region that I... So either A, I have to start um, selecting ones to actually get hauled, or I can extend the range of this. So, we're going to do a little bit of both. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and increase the range out to here. That'll allow us to get a few more. And in addition, what I will probably do is I will start flagging some of these. So, we got marble, we got limestone. That's a nice big limestone batch. Why don't we just select a bunch of these? Selecting the ones up here because that means they'll just drag them here versus we were like doing some excess uh, hauling last time where we would overhaul them one way versus another. So in the morning, well, our meals seem pretty good. Um, so someone's going to start cutting stone, pretty sure. We can again queue up some wall replacement. And then, could also start, um, again, um, going back and doing some mining, if you will, um, to clear out some of this in preparation. A, that might give us some extra stone, and B, um, how are we doing for steel and components? Oh, okay, steel, okay. As a matter of fact, let's do that then. Let's go ahead and build one more. Just slowly increase our traps there. And let's go ahead and do orders. This will be Suki mostly that's going to do this. We'll just clear this whole puppy out. Put this back. If I recall that was there. Those are just my marks for... Uh, later when we start building rooms. Okay, very nice, very nice. Everybody's getting up. Like 
that. We like that a lot. Okay, so gem's not up yet. There we go, gem is up. Now I can like rip apart this bedroom. I know what I was waiting for. I'm gonna deconstruct that. And in fact, we're gonna go kit and caboodle and deconstruct this. Do this whole stretch of wall. Wow, Suki's making short work of that uh, section there. Good job, EG. Let's set that to auto rearm. There we go. Beautiful. Bam, 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 bam. Get some limestone building. Look at that. Recover some wood, as it were. Everybody looks like they're working hard. Suki will help out, and then I could even, if I wanted to, I could create some more. We got an elephant. Really? Yeah, you want to leave, Mr. Elephant. That was, that, that was not your dining room. My dining room. Very nice, very nice. This is a beautiful thing. We actually got quite a bit of marble now as well and we're actually starting to run low on limestone. So, and it's still pretty early in the day which is pretty impressive. So we're going to actually go over here and we're going to deconstruct this. Bam. Beautiful job, BG. We're gonna actually make this out of marble up here. Although it is tempting to save the marble for floors. What do we need? That's more than like 10, which is I think what we have for limestone. So again, we're not too worried about, you know, it is what it is as far as um, mix and match. Not gonna sweat it. There we go. Look at that, we're up to 173 wood. Ooh, yeah, way to go, Rasta. Train that dog, train that dog. Okay, if we get done there, then we have this side to do, and we have that. And then we can, I mean, we could also replace some of the inner wooden walls, especially with the pyromaniac, but um, getting the outside walls is, you know, obviously the more critical thing. Way to go, Suki. Work hard, work long. Okay. So, looks like we're getting to this, remember, in this rice plot here, we set to not sow again. Um, so, once it's all harvested and bare, what I will do is I will switch the crop over. Um, Looks like we're still doing great. Walls coming along, still opening in our defenses, but hopefully not for too much longer. The other thing, you see how Jem's actually doing stone cutting? What I actually did was, for Jem and Rasta, they both have very low crafting skill, but what I did was I used the control click on this to expand the categories, and I only set them specifically to do stone blocks and to use, uh, to do, uh, I think, crafting at the crafting little this spot. So, they will actually do them. You still, they'll use the priority and the priority order, but they won't ever, you know, go do tailoring or something like that, which, since their skill is so low, that would be horrible. They would produce horrible items, although I can't say that our more skilled crafters don't produce horrible items, because they do too, but you do get the idea. So, so you can see, because uh, we have, obviously, we're down to the point where we're doing some hauling tasks. Um, we have people doing hauling, which is good. That'll save other people time later. Looks like everybody's going to bed. Um, 
except for EG, who's finishing off one more stone. And we've got a decent amount of marble, um, and we've definitely got some of this, so we will probably work on these walls tomorrow. In addition to working on the walls, again, I think I may just um, designate some stuff here for Suki to mine at the beginning of the day. You know, just a chunk. Um, that'll help us give some chunks of stones and eventually take this out for eventual base expansion. So, um, I think those are good. Okay, we made it through the Psychic Drone. Um, moods are not the greatest, but uh, we made it through. I think that's the important part. So some of this stuff's going to still take a little while, but we're in no hurry. That's how I manage the crops. We're going to finally get some trees soon. So, these are plots. You're growing trees in them, but they're plots, which means when they grow to full growth, your farmers will go uh, and uh, will go harvest them. So you don't have to actually designate them for chopping. They just they'll go chop them down and replant new trees, which will be a good thing. You know, how tempted am I to actually start the fridge? I'm still not. And I'm tempted, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have bring it, brought it up, but uh, I think that my first temptation will still be getting these walls done. Good morning, folks. Let's say, as you get up in this wonderful morning, Suki's going to eat a meal. Suki's probably going to head off to the mines. And then I, EG's up. Beautiful. Okay. Let's do it. Do it to it, folks. Yeah, I was going to do the whole wall, but um, <laughs> that might be excessive. We might get to it today, but to leave all of that wall down, um, yeah. Let's just start here. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. I think we said we're going with marble, because that's what we got. Yep. Bam. Bam. Beautiful. Yeah, Ross just keeping the place clean. And that really does help out, you know, sometimes it doesn't seem like a priority at the beginning, but uh, the whole ugliness and uh, is, is a negative modifier that is not a, a good thing to have. Um, and um, I'm going to jinx myself, but I'm going to say, see, we haven't had a pyromaniac break, pyromaniac break in a little while. But, uh, oh my gosh, get out of here, elephant, seriously? Okay. You better be leaving. You better slip out right now. No, you're going to be a fool. Wait, wait, wait. I just trapped an elephant. No. I don't think the elephant can go through doors. So now I'm curious. What's going to happen? Will you starve, Mr. Elephant? I mean, we have an elephant we can visit. We have a new pet elephant. Oh, we got a little rat over here. We can flag this rat for hunting. Get away. Stay away from our crops. Yes, ignore the fact that we're such awful, awful shots. Yay! Oh, smokeweed coming in. That's good. That means we'll get some more joints, more trade. Oh, chopping down wood. Happiness is wood being chopped down. Okay, so I did not get to the other section of the wall. I got distracted by all these fun other little things happening. Um, and time's going pretty fast. So EG's going to do some of this. That's fine. Get that wood going. That's fine. Ross is going to chop the rat up. Get some rat skin. We love it. Grab that wood. 
Loving this. Oh my. I did not even notice. Um, we're not starving by any means, but we are out of food. Or, sorry, meat. So, um, you know, you just start going double speed, and next thing you know, people have eaten you out of house and home. Now, this does seem slightly problematic. I should use the wildlife tab. Obviously, we've got plenty of game out there. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind, but I was looking to flag something a little closer to home because apparently all this game is like way the hell out here. Um, yeah, see, okay. Elephant time. I know we have our pet elephant. That seems like a likely candidate, but uh, no, I'm not going to do it. I do want to see. I think the elephant's going to, if it does not go mad and cause horrible, horrible havoc in our base and kill us all, um, I think it's going to starve to death, actually. Um, gee. Oh, what is the problem? Okay, so, uh, yeah. Well, it may bleed out. We'll see. Uh, EG's going back to bed. What, were you hungry? Probably. Oh, here we go again. Oh, and you're not Hermione's master. Well, that can be changed. Except that I think you're... Yes. There you go. You happy now? Ooh, ooh. Hermione can help out with hauling now. We do want to go ahead and uh, we're going to train Hermione to uh, um, rescue people if they're fallen. Um, but that's great. Now we actually have a fully trained, well, pretty much fully trained dog, at least, uh, and we'll be able to help with the hauling. If you look here, actually, um, all the stone that we had flagged to haul up there did get hauled. So I'm going to actually flag like maybe some more sandstone for floors, since that's what we're using for floors. I will flag that too. Okay. And it's not haul urgently. It's only a haul, which means that if they're looking for hauling tasks um, and there's none other that are closer, they'll be like, oh, okay, I'll go grab that and I'll haul it and I'll haul it to this haul spot currently. So we've got hunting set up for tomorrow. I again could. We probably crafted. Oh no, we still got smoke leaf. Okay. To do the same thing I did with Suki before. Go ahead and just set that up to mine. Suki should be good, good. Suki's the hunter. Even though E.T. was out there in the morning. Um, and then as soon as uh, I think E.G. is up and eaten, we will also deconstruct this wall. We're going to pause. We're going to go down to Suki. Who is revenging? Okay. It's fine. Suki managed to handle the task. You're putting enough lead in that elephant that the meat's not going to be so good anymore, though, Suki. No offense. Okay, is everybody up? Everybody's up. Okay, let's get to the structures. Let's get this wall done. That's our big wall for today. Okay, so you have now seen what not to do. And I should have known better. So we had the roof over the supply depot, and I took an entire wall out versus like sections of the wall. And mm, who, who knows how many materials we just lost. Honestly, I wasn't keeping track. Very, very unfortunate, thanks to my ingenious action. Maybe we didn't lose that much. I, I don't know. And, you know, the, the wonder of all wonders, 
is that we were lucky enough that we deconstructed it from the outside so that uh, because you can up oh, there okay well I guess we'll find out so we lost the t-shirt we lost smoke leaf and steel and silver and cloth Oh look, elephant tusk, wood and cloth. Oh, I am so skillful. More wood. Wood, steel, and medicine. Oh, did we lose? Oh my goodness. Well. And we lost the wooden shiv. Oh my goodness. Did the dog die? Hermione. Oh no. Where is Hermione? Health. Okay, Hermione lost an ear. You know, we got away pretty, pretty luckily. Um, I have had some serious injuries to people when I've dropped roofs on it before. So, yes, yes. Oh. Silly, silly me. You know, I've actually, I haven't seen it ever, but I have actually read about some strategies for some people who literally, like, do that with, like, caves or with other things, where, you know, in a kill box type of a situation, um, you lead the attackers in, and you just, you deconstruct the one pillar or something that's holding everything up, and the roof collapses on them does, you know, a significant amount of damage. Ooh, escape pod. Let's go check this out. You've detected an escape pod crashing nearby. Oh, no joke. Right nearby. Okay, so Veronica the Recruiter. Pretty young. I mean, very old and sleep years or whatever. But let's take a look. So Veronica number one has a well, it's pretty worn out, but a synth thread jacket on. Um, Veronica Oshutsky. So, Veronica is a pyromaniac and a teetoler, so that means uh, actually EG is one, doesn't like uh, Horb's alcohol on drugs. And psychically dull, which is pretty useful for, you know, the, the drones and things don't affect them as much, but of course the soothes don't help either. Um, the pyromaniac is a big concern. When they're incapable of carrying and firefighting, they have some shooting skill and they're passionate. Not a lot. They're pretty good at, they're very good at melee and passionate. A little bit of social, a little bit of animals. Uh, they're actually very, very passionate about crafting, even though the skill is not very high, which would be very nice. Uh, and the art thing. The other stuff around the colony, not so useful. Um, you know, honestly, um... There's no guarantee here. I'm probably going to just strip the jacket and uh, let them bleed out because I am just mean. That's, that is, that is the, they're hot. They're experiencing acute pain. Look at this. They, they actually, there's a very real jaw chance they just might get up and walk off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on single. I'm going to have Rasta. Hey, Rasta, why don't you go strip this person? Now, what does the council think? Do we want to take the chance? I mean, they could gather valuable information about our base and take it to our enemy. Should we should we make sure they have an accident? Suki? Hmm, Suki, what do you think? Could have a little... Oh, friendly, huh? I actually bring this in. We'll set that to hall urgent. Now look at this. This is this is beautiful. 594 wood thanks to a the uh, the harvesting of that. That is enough wood to give everybody double beds, as far as I'm concerned. I say that like I know what I'm talking about, but uh, yeah, yep, certainly. Now our crafting skill is probably still for shit. So one of the things I'm going to do is. I'm going to, A, I want to make another chair, 
I, I think I'm actually gonna make two other chairs. Maybe three other chairs. We're gonna make a bunch of other chairs. It's really what it comes down to. Hopefully we'll still have enough wood. So we got some bulk traders coming in. Um, so what's nice about these guys is um, A, they might buy some of our extra food. Not that we are actually sitting on nearly as much as they thought we were. Um, it's just our fridge is not very big. But, um, and we don't have to entertain them. These are not visitors per se. Um, so um, while I like to entertain, you know, that takes away from doing the other stuff. We did finish our wall, which is great. Um, so really, you know, for as far as external walls at this point, we really only have these sections. And this is actually hilarious. So we have a raid. And it's a group of pirates from Raven Men. And they're going to prepare for a while, and then they're going to attack. So let's go take a quick look at them. So definitely, A, it's not tribals. Uh, two, it's more than we've seen before, right? We, we only saw two. And they have guns, because, you know, they're not tribals. So we got Sir here, who has a bolt-action rifle. And we got uh, Shoara, who has a bolt-action rifle. We have someone with a wooden club. And we have uh, Barry with a revolver. So looking at their skills real quick. So the revolver person, Fast Walker, is going get, to get to our base when they decide to leave. Probably one of the first ones, definitely. <laughs> it's a nudist, which is pretty funny. But has no shooting skill with that revolver. Um, oh my goodness. Wow. Sir has no shooting skill with that bolt action. Whoa. What happened? Shoara has no shooting skill. That doesn't mean they can't hit, but just they're not going to be very good. And let's check out the last but not least. Okay, here's your actual fighter who is hilariously only has the club. So the second thing that's really funny about this, beyond the fact that, you know, they don't seem that menacing, we need to kill two. And if they do head towards our trap row, you know, honestly, chances are two will probably die in it. Although, you know, we're going to want to be prepared. We don't want people out. But the other thing I'm laughing about is the bulk traders. So because the raiders, and we'll go over this again probably at the start of the next episode because that's where we're going to resolve this. The raiders are going to wait a little while because they're preparing. These bulk traders are headed over and all the other traders we've had come hang out right outside here. And I guarantee you that's where the raiders are going to come. And I didn't set this up in any specific way, but um, that's how it's going to work because of these open doors. And what's going to happen is those pirates are going to get close, honestly, and the bulk traders are going to probably still be here, and they're going to start fighting. And so this could turn out in our favor, uh, but we're going to find out next time, uh, which is uh, I'm looking forward to it, actually. So. Thank you, and see you next time.